Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we've got a new season, season 48, and this is the first war of the season, and the first war with a new alliance, the Null Void. All right, let's see. Who did they ban, first of all? Iceman, let's turn that down a little bit. Um, we got Iceman, we got Void, and we have Bishop. Oh, way. All right. Global is going to be Kingpin. And Hercules is banned immune, but I use him in Alliance Quest. Uh, we're going up against an alliance called Excommunicated. Oh, snap. Okay. Now, if you guys may notice, uh, in my previous alliance, we were Platinum 2 and we were like Tier 2. We are here, Tier 4. So hopefully it'll be a much more relaxing time in Alliance War. All right. Let's uh, check out what we got going on. I'm in BG3 now. They did give me Path 3 again. All right. So we've got Shocker mm, and Quicksilver. All right. Um... I don't think either one of them benefit from this node. I don't think Shocker gets um, armor, does he? Immunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the opponent's armor rating, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he does. So... I might just bring in um, Nick Fury. Nick Fury may work for both of those right there. And, of course, we've got future Ant-Man. We're bringing Magneto. No question about that. Now, Bishop. Interesting. Bishop. I don't believe benefits from this node either, but he is an annoying defender and immune to shock thanks to the node. Huh. Well, well, well. Because I was going to say, I'm bringing in um, infamous Iron Man. But if he's immune to shock, that can make things a little bit more dicey. So, hmm. Well, probably going to bring in uh, someone who doesn't have to be immune to shock since he doesn't get an armor up. So I just need somebody that's a good um, option for him. I might just bring in Ultron. We'll see. I actually have uh, several options for this bishop. I could bring in Ultron. I could bring in Penny Parker. Uh, she's actually pretty good against Bishop. Um, Ghost. I haven't used Ghost in like forever. So I could bring Ghost in. So, hmm. We'll see. I might do that. Ghost, um, Magneto, and Nick Fury. That could be a, that could be interesting. I mean, I could bring Hulkling in as well. But if I remember right, Hulkling is not immune to incinerate. Hmm. And we don't have someone planning out um, or assigning, I should say, uh, fights. They're asking us to just like how I'm used to uh, from before. So I'm trying to see also who else I can bring that might uh, help out on this here. Hmm. Let's see, Magneto. No. The only one I probably would like to, to fight is um, Mantis here. 
personal space regeneration. Hmm. Could um, use Nick Fury on her, maybe. Yeah. Ah, uh, that 50% potency. Might need to uh, stop her regen, though. All right, let me think about that. Right now, I'm thinking Magneto um, and Nick Fury. But that bishop right there can cause some uh, issues. Let me see. I don't remember. Um... Boy, they could make this a little bit easier. Um, I don't remember. Ooh, yeah. Energy resistance. Because I was thinking maybe Magneto against him there. And then I could bring someone. Um, yeah, I might try to think of someone else I can bring in for these two. Because I don't see anyone really that I'd want to take Nick Fury against here. Let's see up here. Yeah, no, not really. And of course, Serpent, naturally, is going to be the uh, boss. Um, yeah, let me let me think about this for a little bit. But uh, I know I'm bringing in Magneto for that future Ant-Man. So I'm trying to think of someone that I can bring in that will handle Bishop and possibly these two or Bishop and one of them. Then I can bring in somebody else that could handle the other and one of the mini bosses. So I got to think about it for a little bit. All right, let's get to the fighting. So I'm going in with Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, and Nick Fury. Now, this is the first war with a new alliance as well. So you know I want to put on my best uh, performance here. Now, this first fight against Shocker, I was a little nervous about it. But I may I remember he's not bleed immune, which means Nick Fury should be able to nuke him down. But I remember fighting Shocker before and he would go um unblockable and just wreck me. Now with Nick Fury, even if he does that, it's not a big deal uh, unless he keeps on doing it. So my strategy here is basically to nuke. Now, you'll notice that I intercepted. I'm trying not to parry him because I read in his kit, parrying him gives him more of those charges and basically he'll go unstoppable faster, you know, or uh, unblockable faster. So that's why you see me fighting him like this. And it went nice and smooth. Because um, I remember getting wrecked a couple of times uh, in Battlegrounds. Um, and I got wrecked, I think, in an Alliance War in the past. And I, I just didn't know how he worked. So I was a little nervous about that fight, but it went off uh, without a hitch. Now, this fight I'm a little bit more familiar with. I fought um, Quicksilver plenty of times. Uh, when he first came out, had a hard time evading his special one. I can usually do that now, but I try not to. And look at that. <clears throat> his evade failed. Because I have all those tactical charges. This is why I love using Nick Fury. And that's why I fired off that special one. <clears throat> to give me more uh, tactical charges. Just in case he decided to do a evade out of the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> so, first uh, <clears throat> path is done. I just finished eating, so <clears throat> that's why you hear me uh, doing this. But I wanted to get this uh, video out <clears throat> and get it done. Now, this fight is pretty uh, standard by now. Anytime I see future Ant-Man, I'm bringing Magneto. Unless they ban him, and then I'll bring someone else. Probably 
uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. But <clears throat> basically, you just wait out, get the magnetism, <clears throat> wait till he has his uh, the uh, armor up, uh, went away, and now it's just basically parry heavy. That's it. Now, I have... <clears throat> now, see right here? He got another uh, armor up. So I need to wait out that one before I continue. Now, the reason that that happened, I don't have any points in Pacify Mastery. If you max out your Pacify Mastery, that most likely will not happen to you. But if you don't, you're going to have to watch out for that. That's the only tricky thing about this uh, fight with Magneto. Um, now, this this kind of annoys me a little bit. So I'm trying to get to the special three. I don't want to hit him um, and put him to a special three, but then the detonation. Now, again, that detonation taking my power can be prevented by the pacify. Because it doesn't always happen, but the pacify mastery will pretty much ensure it doesn't happen. Uh, so that happened. I just have to keep. And what was that? Can y'all tell me what that was? He went into the, the corner and then just came out with a heavy attack. I mean, he came out like a boxer. You know, just like, boom, boom. I was like, what in the world? But still, that just pushed me to my special three faster and hastened his demise. So, very easy fight. Now, this fight... I'm going to take uh, Lady Deathstrike. It's a mutant, Bishop. The only thing that I need to watch out for is his special one. I don't want him to fire the special one because she's not incinerate immune. Okay? So this fight, pretty straightforward. Okay? Now, my um, Lady Deathstrike is only rank look at this look at this she's only rank four now that right there was just my mistake okay and see i have too little health so that even if i got hit i would have died okay so i'm trying to use the adrenaline or not the adrenaline but i'm trying to get back as much health as i can yeah the adrenaline um and i'm like okay we, we can do this. We can still uh, pull this off. All right? So we just need to keep on him. You know, just push him to his special two. And we should be good. All right? But chip, chip, chip. Chipping away. I cannot take one straight on. And I'm like, okay, we got this. All right? Just parry. Oh, wait, no. Ah. Oh. So what happened there is that I was trapped between two things. If I took all those blocked hits, I was at 2%. He was going to take me out just by hitting into my block. So I backed off because I saw that that's what he was going to do. And I was like, all I need to do now is go right back in. And he fired his special one. So first war of the season, first death of the season. Uh, not a great start. But it is what it is. I was so mad. I was like, you know what? Lady Deathstrike should have taken that fight really easily. You know, she is the menace to mutants, right? But my my poor Lady Deathstrike, if I had not made that mistake early on, we would have got him uh, without any problem. But I was like, okay. And then here he is, just slamming into my block, trying to do as much as he can um, before he goes down. And that was that. And I'm like, man, I wanted to put on a great performance, but that wasn't a great performance. Now, next fight is going to be against Big Daddy Apaco. Apocalypse. All right. And, of course, I'm going to use Lady Deathstrike. That is why I healed her up. <clears throat> and this time, 
I am determined not to lose, okay? So I'm like, I already lost one time. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, boost up. I haven't been using the other boosts because I've ran out of them and I don't feel like opening those crystals. I could and, and get a few more. Maybe I will, but yeah. Anyway, on this node, you do not want to bring anybody that does energy based attacks. So my Claire, she is the worst for this node. I went in there and got embarrassed because they healed up everything. I, I couldn't I couldn't take them out. Claire could not do it. I was so mad. Now, <clears throat> maybe I would have been able to find a way. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, rotating special freeze or um, doing lots of heavy attacks maybe and letting the, you know, bleed damage or poison damage or incinerate damage uh, take them out, but that fight there it was sad but now here we're going in and you can see that i'm not taking a lot of damage from his uh uh special so like boom boom and then evade out of the last part doesn't really hurt so this fight is pretty straightforward and routine all i gotta do is keep going keep baiting those out his special two hurts a little bit more, but look at my health. Lady Deathstrike is nice, okay? Lady Deathstrike is really nice. Um, I still wish she could do a lot more damage, but her damage does get up there, but it takes a little bit. It's like a, a slow damage ramp up. All right, so we are doing this fight now. I could have done the fight against Bishop like this, but I made that mistake. Now with her, even if I get hit by his special, as long as it doesn't kill me right, right she'll heal it. But I have seen where he takes her out with that special. And so I don't want to even try it. All right, so down goes Big Daddy Apaco. All right, so that is it for my fights in this war. Um, I could have done it uh, without dying, but I made that that big mistake, uh, fatal mistake. All right, but anyway, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So the first war of the season, is a win. Let's take a look here. Okay. They didn't have a lot of uh, diversity, that's for sure. All right. There we go. Icy Cool Shadow. Love the name. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.